lumps of coal like a wall round the outside, then the glowing middle part was covered with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire, complained Henry. Wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roar fire just when we want it. The fireman was right. When Henry reached the platform, the water was boiling nicely and he had to let off steam. How are you, Henry? Beep, beep, whistled Henry. I feel fine. Have you a good fire driver? Never better, sir, and plenty of steam. No record breaking, warned Sir Topham Hatt. Don't push him too hard. Henry won't need pushing, sir. I'll have to hold him back. day. He had never felt so well in his life. He wanted to go fast, but his driver wouldn't let him. Steady old fellow, he would say. There's plenty of time. They arrived early at the station. Thomas puffed in. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Henry. Oh, I can't wait for dawdling tank engines like you. Goodbye. said Thomas to Annie and Clarabel. Have you ever seen anything like it? Both Annie and Clarabel agreed that they never had. So you see, it wasn't Henry's fault at all. And his new coal cheered him right up. I wish there was something we could do to cheer up Aunt Stacy. What cheers you up when you're down? I know, and you make up funny rhymes. Fun for girls, fun for boys. Clever rhymes are just like toys. Why don't you make up some rhymes for Stacy? Oh, good idea. Once was a train that was quick as a flash. Um, um, I can't think of anything that rhymes with flash. It went off its tracks and had a great crash. Ugh. That's no good. Matt and Tanya, you need some assistance. Allow me to offer some rhyme rules. For instance, to tickle the mind with the sound of a rhyme, say what you wish with a rhythm in time. The words will spring forth at the drop of a dime. <gasps> that woman is nowhere to be found. I'm sure she's going to miss her wedding. This station for trains, it runs pretty well. And on one mistake, you never should dwell. If it weren't for you, there'd be no train station. We think you deserve a standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find paper and pen and write a poem for you. me i hate to rhyme i think they're just a waste of time is that a rhyme that i just heard did schemer make a play on words this is silly they're quite contagious this rhyming business is outrageous i'll play a song and clear my head and stop the rhyming business dead <laughs> thing. I paid good money to hear it sing. Ooh. Hey, ooh. Hey, hey, that's hey, not hey, what I meant by hey, what shape is. Hey, this is not Whoa. a boom box. Did one of you kids break this jukebox? We didn't touch it. Well, I'm going to have to get my tools. 
and I hate fixing things because fixing things is a waste of time, and as we all know, time is... 12.15. Time is money, honey. <laughs> when that dude comes back, we better have our gig together. You dig? Like totally Cheeto. Mm. That guy is bad news. Mm, mm, and like, mm. What's all the commotion? The jukebox is broken. Schemer's getting his tools to try and fix it. Oh, that juke. She's a delicate machine. The way old Schemer is about, he's likely to run. You know, hurrying and rushing is the cause of most of the accidents in this world. If people would just slow down a little, take their times, think things through, there'd be a lot fewer accidents. That's why we have rules on the railroad. They're mostly in little books like this. You see, the railroad is like a big family where everybody has their responsibilities and jobs to do. Sometimes you don't know exactly why there's a rule for this or that, but you know you have to follow them so there isn't a train wreck or some other big mistake. All the rules are just to help railroad people do the right things and avoid risky situations. Like I said, most of it is simple common sense. Of course, some people never learn. It's exactly the same here at the station. When you're working on the railroad, or even when you're doing something fun in your own backyard, you have to work extra hard to keep from having an accident. So careful thought and take in your time. That's the ticket to staying safe and sound. Now, I've got to go do my job and fix this railing before some passenger in a hurry falls off the platform. People should take their time and not rush. Then they get things right. Now that be some heavy advice. Is everybody ready? Ready. Set. Go. Oh. A one, a two, a three, and... Well, they gave him his orders at Monroe, Virginia, saying, Steve, you are way behind time. This is not 38, but it's old 97. You must put her into damn villain. That's my brother. Mr. Conductor! Mr. Conductor, are you all right? Goodness, I think so. I was up my ladder repairing the roof. I was just about to put on a shingle when I fell off. Nothing broken, but I'll be more careful next time. Even Mr. Conductor has accidents? Everyone has accidents, including poor Henry, the green engine. Was it because of his new cold? Not exactly. You see, Henry got a very special assignment. Let me tell you about it. 